Welcome to my 15th Zhangzi Checkmate Methods video and today we'll be looking at the Rook and Cannons Checkmate. The main features of this checkmate method are that the two cannons and Rook that take uh, part in it attack from the same wing and that they work cooperatively to essentially kind of take, take over these three back ranks checkmating the general and we'll see that play out a few times. So here's our first example and in this case we'll begin with our attacking Rook coming to the back rank, checking Green's general with the cannon. And Green replies by putting his advisor here in the way. Now Red replies by pulling back three spots. You see in this case, it might look like Green could just capture uh, the Red Rook or that Red sac just carelessly sacrificed it. But in fact, this is not an option at the moment because Green needs to reply to this situation, right? The, the actual check. So, and, and Green does so by moving his advisor here. We now move our cannon to this 8th file. Again, at this point, it's sort of not, uh, this is not a sort of a situation because what we're doing is setting up for the double cannon's checkmate. See how right now the Green is kind of pinned by an ozone advisor into the back rank? If, if Green were, um, Greedy enough to capture, we would just come down here and checkmate immediately. So what Green does is kind of give himself a little bit of a relief valve here. It's only a temporary solution, but um, that's about as good a thing as he can do at the moment. We now begin to execute that double cannon's checkmate by bringing our cannon back here, check. The Green's General moves up one spot and we take checkmate here. Checkmate. Here's our second example of the Rook and Cannon's checkmate method. This example is going to start off in a similar way to the last one in that we move our Rook to the back rank, checking Green's General. And he moves up one spot. We now move our cannon over here on our second rank up to check the, the Green General using his advisor. Now notice, I had mentioned in the uh, first example, or at the beginning I should say of this video, that one of the features of the Rook and Cannon's checkmate is that the cannons are on the same wing. And while in this case they are not, you'll see in a few moves that they end up being on that, on that wing. And Green moves here as advisor here. See what he's doing is he's giving his general the uh, maximum options of escape for a future attack. Save um, versus if he had moved here. Here he'd kind of be blocking his own general, right? Making it a little easier for Red to eventually check me. We move back one spot checking the general here. And he moves up one spot. Now we take our cannon here in the second file and move it here to our seventh file. See now more of a rook and double cannon is checkmate. Now green moves his elephant from the fifth to his third file. Now and what he's trying to do is he's kind of trying to give himself at least a little bit more of a defensive support here. Now um, we can't use our cannon at least back in the back rank. It's it's not much, but it's something, I suppose. And we now pull our cannon on the seventh file back one one spot, setting ourselves up here for eventual uh, rook and cannon's checkmate. Now Green really has run out of options at this point. What he's going to do is again what he what Green tends to do. Um, when he's got his up, uh, back up against the wall, which is go on the attack. So he checks our red general here. We move up one spot, and he really, uh, I mean, what is he going to do? He's, he's kind of locked himself. He's not in a good position here with the two brooks as they are. If, if they were on different files, then that'd be a whole different story, right? But in this case, because of this nature, he's not going to just kind of go in perpetual check. 
and say he, uh, let's just say for example he comes back here in a desperation and tries to take out our rook. It's a bit of a moot uh, threat because now we just mo pull back our cannon on the ninth file, checkmating. Right, the threat's on this rank and general can't move up here because of this guy and he's being uh, attacked with the double cannons on that rank. Checkmate. Here's our third and final example of the rook and cannons checkmate method. <clears throat> and uh, we'll end on a lighter one. Typically I show you the lighter ones and they build up, but in this case we're going to end on a sort of a light one, but a subtle one in which we're going to really notice the interplay between the cannons and the advisor, that kind of relationship that, that one needs to mind and, and take advantage of to successfully checkmate green. You're going to see this kind of mirror of the attack going this way and ending back that way. And you'll notice the characteristic uh, setup of the two cannons and rook being on, attacking on the same wing. So we start this example by having uh, our cannon in their second file come to the back rank, checking, using that double cannon, it's kind of a threat. And green moves his general up one spot. We now push our rook up four places here on our, our second file, check. And once again, green has no choice but to move up. Now we take our free cannon, see this one's kind of locked up for the moment, but we take this guy and move him back here, checking uh, with with the cannon and using his advisor here. And, and in this case, he has no choice but to pull that advisor back. Now we provide a second catapult here with our rook, check. And once again, green has no choice here but to move uh, <clears throat> back to where he originally was. Now what we do here is a bit of a hesitation move. See, if I were to go back to where I just was again, we're, we would never get out of this little loop. But I pull back, giving the general a, a chance to move uh, to that rank himself, right? Rather than cutting it off there. And now I move up two spots. Check. See, he can't move back here because now his own advisor is sort of, I've, I've sort of glued it there to, to take that line. He's being threatened here. His only choice is to go back. And now we've cut this line off, this rank here with our rook. And we, and we finally move our cannon to the back rank checkmate.